I just went and got pizza. Not for me. Not for me. I just went and got pizza for my wife and her sister-in-law. And they're having a crochet party type of thing. So they get to enjoy some food. And the kids get to enjoy some food. And I had a brilliant salad. Oh my god. Gosh, my mouth is still watering after eating it. Just thinking about that salad. Oh my gosh, it was uh, romaine lettuce with kale. Yes, I, I like kale. I've never had it before, but I like it now. And it was um, marinated tomatoes and cucumbers with um, some Dijon mustard. And let me tell you what, that Dijon mustard just... Whew, that just brought it right up over the edge. So good. So, so, so good. Definitely recommend it. I also chopped up a green bell pepper and stuck that in there. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, stop salivating. I have to drive. Uh, so I found out my sister-in-law actually watches these. Uh, she's a faithful watcher. And I'm Thank you for watching these. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. I'm starting to fall behind a little bit. Uh, if you haven't been able to tell, I released my last video pretty late last night. And I've... <laughs> I gotta find a way to get back on top. I think I can do that this weekend. I think I will release a video on Sunday to offset that balance. I know on Sunday I don't normally release videos, but if I can shoot and edit something and release it on Sunday without having to film anything on Sunday or something, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure this out. Just trust me. We're good. I'm home now. I gotta deliver these pizzas because that's what I'm reduced to now. As a pizza delivery boy. But hey, some pizza delivery boys travel in time. I won't, but, you know, they're cool. See you guys. So we're having leftovers for dinner because we had pizza for lunch, and so... We meaning a we, not him. We, yeah, we as in them, not me. Me, I had a delicious salad, like I was telling you earlier. It is now nighttime. See how nighttimey it is outside? It's really night timey. Like dark night timey. Have you guys ever had that? Have you have you ever been so lazy you just had to have leftovers? Everybody's had that. Everybody has leftover days. Everybody has leftover days. We don't have it as much as we probably should. Because we hardly ever have leftovers. We always have leftovers. Uh oh. Yeah, that's true. If you've ever had leftovers, then yeah. I was gonna be funny right here, but I got nothing. Leftovers aren't funny. They they mean you're poor. No. Yeah, they do. If you can't afford to throw away your food, if you have leftovers, then you're rich in cooking ability or something. Dude, I got some awesome. Ow! I just killed my elbow on my door. Ow! 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 ow. Ow, ow, mom, mom, ow, ow, oh, that's what I get for vlogging and we're getting into a car at the same time, ah, okay, I think I'm good, oh, man, that sucked, so I just scored some coconut and some, bananas, and some nuts, and a lot of other things. And I think I only spent like uh, 20 bucks or something. That was with Benadryl for my wife because she's feeling sickly. So I feel awesome. I just got a whole bunch of awesome good stuff. I gotta plug you in because I'm about to die. Well, my phone's about to die. I'm not about to die. At least I hope not. So I just scored some awesome banana. <sighs> really hurt. I got almond milk and I want to try that stuff out because I love almond milk actually. I've had it I've had it a couple times. 
and it's really yummy. It is so yummy. And, uh, and I can have it if it's all natural, which this is. But I've also got uh, some mint. I got some mint so that I can do some cucumber mint infused water. Because that stuff is the freaking bomb. And I got some... Let me see here. Oh, corn! I got corn. I got raw corn on the cob. How amazing is that? It's pre-washed and everything, so I can just go ahead and eat it. Got it in a four-pack. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to switch up my the stuff that I'm eating because I'm I'm finding that I'm just eating the same stuff over and over and over again, and it's doing me no good whatsoever. It's been doing me no good to just keep eating the same stuff that I've been eating uh, over and over and over again with the smoothies and the salads and everything like that. It's driving me a little insane. I really feel good. I feel great. Like, I've got, I've got this in the bag. I'm just kind of waiting my days out now. I mean, I've gotten used to the diet. My stomach has shrunk a lot, both inside and out. I'm finding that I'm eating a lot, lot less. And that kind of leads me into, what am I going to do after this diet? What what do I have for the next 20 days? Well, I don't want to get into that too much right now, but I do, I do want to say I am thinking about it. I am planning it, and I'm trying to get something formulated because I've got... I've got some plans for the, the holidays and stuff like that. I can tell you this right now. Christmas dinner, New Year's, I'm eating. Not going to be careful at all. Just going to eat. I've got some plans, and I will get into those at, a, you know, probably like the second day from my, my second day away from NT. I'll get into those. That'll be my big... That'll be my... You know my what 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 now you know thing so I have a plan I'm getting it knocked out and I'm you know I'm getting it making all the pieces go together uh, for what I want to do to continue my weight loss but not be on this diet anymore I can safely say this has probably been the longest 20 days of my life it's just been up and down and up and down but it's it's good I feel good I, I'm starting to look good. My wife is noticing, you know, me losing weight. I'm noticing it, noticing it in the mirror. You know, I'm seeing it in my chin. My stomach's starting to go away. I'm, I'm feeling good. I really am. I'm feeling really, really good. For anybody out there wondering if they can do this, you don't have to do this. You can modify this to work for what you need. For me, I found it a challenge to go straight raw, just go right into it. But, like with my wife, my wife wants to do this because she wants to lose a bunch of weight too. Even though I think she's beautiful just the way she is. You know, but that's her choice. She doesn't have a gallbladder. And so she can't really process, uh, she won't be able to really digest the raw food very well. I'm suggesting to her that she just go vegan or even vegetarian. I mean, just do vegetarian for a while. See what that does. You know, even just replace some of your meats with vegetables, you know. This is happening right now. As soon as I get in there, I'm gonna throw this in there, I'm gonna edit it, and you will see what I did tonight. I just went shopping, that was all I did. <laughs> so, shout out to my sister-in-law. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It made me feel so good when you said that you watched them. Because I am feeling a little down that I feel like not a lot of people are watching my stuff. It gets tough after a while, but I know that there's some... I just need to expand my reach. Look for my wanes. Look at my results. See what I'm doing. Because this could work for you. It will work for you. You may need a little bit of tailoring to go with what you want. But if you can... If it, if it is medically possible for you, do the raw diet. You don't have to do 20 days. You can do 15 days. I lost 10 pounds in just a week on this raw diet. 
that's all you want to lose if you're my size, try it out for a week and it'll be the testament of what it can do for you. Quick note, if you do decide to do this, invest in a dehydrator if you don't have one. I did have one, but it's, I don't anymore. That would have been a lifesaver in this. Keep on keeping on. Love you guys. See you later. Good night.